going on YouTube, Gioson right here. So in today's video we have an important announcement to make regarding the iOS 15.3 RC. It's still signed and it's important and you're going to see why in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by Starsoft KeyPass, a software that allows you to bypass the activation lock on your device if it's an iPhone 10 or lower, or you can bypass the forgotten passcode on your screen even on newer devices. Definitely check it out in the link below. It supports a variety of cases and devices. So a couple of days ago my website and many others that rely on Adam's API basically reported there were no betas available. However, iOS 15.3 RC as well as 15.4 RC are still available. Those betas are still signed and as such you can still go ahead and save the blobs using blob saver here. You're going to ask me why would I do that? Those blobs are usually worthless, I cannot use them and they're usually not used. So why would I do that? Well, I would definitely recommend you to do it because it only takes a couple of seconds. I do have multiple videos on how to use this but it's pretty self-explanatory. You can use this program and you can get the link for the RC from here. Basically right click on the blue one and get the link, but definitely get it for your device here on iOS signing status on iDevice Central. Now why would you do that? Well because 15.3 RC is indeed compatible or vulnerable to this vulnerability here, this kernel vulnerability, about which John Ackerblom says quote, iOS 15.4 fixes a kernel vulnerability introduced in iOS 15.0 beta that causes corruption of IPCK messages leading to powerful primitives that can can be used for local privilege escalation from web content and app sandbox. This is actually quite big for jailbreak purposes and it can definitely be useful and we might end up using this for Torin in the future. No promises from the Torin team but they might be able if an exploit gets released to incorporate it in Torin in the future. That's a possibility, nothing confirmed yet. However that still makes this iOS 15.3 RC much better than the 15.4 which is currently the only signed version aside from the betas. Those out here are betas. RC is the latest beta before the release. So 15.3 is no longer signed as you can see from here but the RC beta is basically the same thing. So definitely go ahead and downgrade if you're running 15.4. You can use future restore to downgrade the 15.3 RC or save the blobs if you're on a lower version. Definitely do so. This vulnerability here that's inactive tweeted a POC4 is actually quite powerful and can be used for jailbreak purposes. Definitely save your blobs because yes 15.3 RC is in the still signed. I know it showed that it's no longer signed a couple of days ago but that was a problem with Adam's API. They said here quote the issue with my iOS beta API today have been fixed. Sorry about that. Also pushed the current source code to github so that's actually great. And yes my website uses that API as well and that's why it showed no betas available. But yes 15.3 RC is still signed. Definitely go ahead save your blobs and if you're running 15.4 do yourself a favor and downgrade using future restore to the 15.3 RC. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated for more jailbreak news and peace out.